Okay, so now we're going to talk about enthusiasm and reversing U-turns. So enthusiasm is a pleasant way to think about discipline. Um, most artists, certainly me as an individual, kind of hate the whole idea of discipline. Um, there's just something very militaristic about it, um, which rubs me the wrong way. So, but when I think about my art, I know I have to get it done. I know it won't get done unless I sit down and do it. And so I might at the same time every day sit with my art and I might spend whatever amount of time I feel is appropriate for a particular project and I might want to have some projects in the back pocket, whatever. Um, but instead of looking that, at that as, oh, I'm going to be disciplined in my work, which seems very almost like a straitjacket to my way of thinking, um, it works much better for me to think of it as enthusiasm because truly that's what it is. I'm excited. I wake up in the morning and I think, oh, I want to change this or that or make this or that, whatever, and I am enthusiastic and I get right to the work. It's sort of like meeting, like having a play date. It's sort of like taking time away from any type of disciplined uh, way of being and just making time to play and to make, to make art. Um, the other thing that I'm going to mention is reversing U-turns. So we talked about U-turns a couple chapters ago, and that is when you you are interested in something, maybe you do something, you begin something, and something happens to hurt or discourage that. Maybe somebody says something negative, or somehow you're thwarted and you put that project aside and years can go by. Um, you may feel like it's out of limits for you now. It's something you can't do. Um, and you might not think about it for a very long time. But you can get to a point where you are reminded of that thing you took a U-turn on and then um, you can kind of pull it out and examine it. Like, for example, um, well, I'll give you an example for me. And we talked about these like in our childhood. When I was in junior high, we had to draw a map of Europe and I gave it a real effort. And my teacher gave me an E, which is a failing grade in Maryland. And she wrote something, um, some kind of comment like this is really sloppy. And, um, and I was really, really hurt and discouraged because I had put a lot of effort toward it. I really had. I hadn't just thrown it together. And so I didn't do anything really artistic for a very long time because of that. I just felt like, well, I'm obviously sloppy and childish and not artistic. Um, and those, those would be U-turns. And the way we can reverse them is, is to look at them and, and talk to other people about them. And once we do that, once we examine that pain, it can be lifted, especially with the help of our um, believing mirrors. So those are just things to think about um, in this chapter.